Whether it's when I turn on the machine, try to make a coffee or start a descaling process, the water never comes out. And yet, you can hear the pump. Salut tout le monde, in this video I'm going to show you how I fixed my coffee machine which water was not flowing. I start by removing the rear panel. The screws are not simple Phillips but torque safety screws for which a simple screwdriver is not enough. I need a hollow torx tip. You will find the link to my toolbox in the description. There are 5 screws to remove to be able to disassemble the panel. Of course, before opening the machine, unplug it and wait for it to cool because some parts inside can be very hot. To remove the panel, I pull it by grabbing the bottom toward me. Then I remove the left panel by sliding it. The idea here is to follow the water circuit and check if it's clogged somewhere. I start by checking the safety valve. To disassemble it, I have to remove the two small metal clamps that hold it in place. I make a visual inspection and notice nothing wrong. I decide to test if there is water coming out of the pump by plugging the machine and turn it on. As you will see, it was not the safest manipulation, but it allowed me to easily find the origin of the problem. I put a cup at the pump outlet and turn on the machine. Here we can see that the water comes out of the pump, so the problem is further away. And now you will see why this kind of test can be dangerous. It ends well, but I could have burned myself and damaged my laptop. As you can see, a lot of scale came out of this part. This part being the part that eats the coffee. The water pipe runs next to the heating resistance which eats the water. On my machine, it's probably in spiral. And I think that the pipe must be clogged somewhere in there. To easily remove the resistance, I have to remove the front panel of the machine. First, I remove the water and coffee collecting tray and the tank. I remove the three screws of the lower parts of the front. Then the four screws of the upper part. There is one on each side and two at the back. To get to the one on the right side, I have to remove the panel as before. I remove the steam button by pulling it towards me. I can now remove the upper part of the front panel and drop a lot of coffee beans doing it. Then the lower part. I remove the pipe as before by removing the small metal clip. Then I remove the four screws which maintains the resistance in place. But it's not enough. To take it out easily, I have to remove also this part at the top, which is held by two screws. Now I can take out the heating part. I only have one last pipe to remove. I put back the top part so I don't forget where it was. And I finish the disassembly of the resistance by removing all electrical connections. Now I separate the resistance from the plastic casing by removing the bottom screw.
and I continue to remove the connectors. I finish with the temperature probe. Here we can see the scale clogging the pipe. To unclog it, I use white vinegar that I push in the pipe with a syringe. I let it rest one night, then I use a rather rigid metal wire and a bicycle brake cable to try destroying the scale plug. And there you have it! After a while, using vinegar and the brake cable mm. like a ferret, the clog is destroyed. Here you can see what was inside the pipe. I can now blow in the pipe and it goes through. I fill once again the whole thing with vinegar and let it rest for a few hours before putting it back together. I put back the resistance in the housing and the screw that holds the two together. Then I put back the electrical connection and the temperature sensor. I remove the two screws which maintain the small parts of the top. And I reassemble the resistance by putting back the four screws. I put back the top parts. Then the safety valve. And the pipes. Now that the main parts are put back together, I'm going to do a test. For that, I put the tank back in place. I turn on the machine again, but nothing happens because I forgot to put back the water and coffee collecting tray. I put it back and the cleaning cycle begins. And this time, the water comes out. Now I have to finish reassembling the machine. I remove the tray again. I put back the lower part of the front panel. Then the top, making sure that the grinder gasket is in place. I put back the panel on each side and I finish with the one at the back. And before making coffee again, I start a descaling cycle to finish the cleaning and remove the vinegar that remains in the circuit. I 
I hope this video was useful. Subscribe for more repair videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.